Hey my dear friends, once again welcome back to the channel. I am Gaurav here and that's the 26th video of this series. And in today's video we're gonna create a pause menu for our game. So let's get started but before we begin, as I always say if you are new in the channel then please check out our previous videos first. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon, it's absolutely free. Now let's jump into the project and here I'll create a separate UI canvas and in there I'll contain the pause menu related stuff so that everything looks nice and tidy. And name it underscore pause menu canvas. Then set its scale mode to the scale with screen size and then set its reference resolution same as we done for the main menu canvas. And in it I'll add a button and I'll name it underscore pause button. But right now the button isn't visible here. Well it's cause of the sort order number. Remember we will talk about it in the last video. So cause the sort order number of the pause menu canvas is smaller than sort order number of the main menu canvas. So that's why the pause menu canvas is not visible here cause it's behind the main menu canvas. But for now I'm temporarily disabling main menu canvas so that we can see the pause menu canvas and we will reactivate it later. Now change its height and width to make it perfect square. And then I'll anchor it to the top right corner by holding down the alt button and then click on this preset. Now give it a little buffer from the edges and I'll give negative 100 on the X position and negative 200 on the Y position. But it still doesn't look like a pause menu button, does it? So let's make it to look like a pause button. And to do that, first get rid of its text type game object and then I'll drag this image which I downloaded from the internet into the source image slot. And if you want to download this icon then I have put the link down in the description below. But before you try to pass that image into the source image slot, you must first change its texture type to sprite 2D and UI and then hit the apply button and now you can easily pass it to the source image slot and it looks good. Now here under the pause menu canvas, we will create an empty game object and I'll name it pause menu UI. Then stretch it all over the canvas and there we will create two more game objects, one for background and another for making resume button. Now add a UI image to make a background and name it background. Then spread it all over the canvas and then I'll color it to the black and reduce its alpha value to make it slightly transparent. Now let's add a UI button to create a resume button and name it resume button and stretch it a bit. Then here on the button component I'll set the normal color to black and highlighted color to the yellow. Now here inside the resume button we have a text type game object. So here on the text input I'll name it resume and make it a bold and increase its size a little bit then I'll color it to the bright white. And now we have all the ingredients to set up pause menu UI. So let's make it work. Okay, first of all, we have to disable that pause menu UI cause it will be activated whenever we will click on the pause menu button. Okay, and then here on the pause button, we will add the pause button function within the on click event handler so that we can actually stop the game. Now drag the UI game object and select pause button function from the list and then at the same time we want to activate the pause menu UI game object as well. So to do this let's add one more event in the event handler list then we'll pass that pause menu UI object in there and here select the set active bool and then click on that checkbox so that it will activate the pause menu UI. Alright so whenever we press the pause button then the game will pause and at the same time pause menu UI will also appear on the screen. So we have paused our game and now we want to start it again. Ok here we need a resume button. So let's make it. Um, well actually you can take it as a challenge and it will be very very easy for you guys cause you just have to do same thing as we done for the pause button but in reverse. So pause the video and try to make it by yourself and I'll be here in a moment. Welcome back again. I hope you guys accepted that easy challenge. But if not, then don't worry, let's do it together. Now select the resume button and here we will add the resume button function to the list. And also we need to disable that pause menu UI so that we can easily see our game scene. 
Now lastly don't forget to reactivate the main menu canvas. And that's it, we just created our path menu UI. So click on the play button and let's see is everything working properly or not. Click on the pause button and it's working fine as it should be. So now we are able to pause and resume our game, brilliant. Well yeah, I know currently the game's UI looks really ugly and stinky. But soon we will work on it to improve its looks. Or else you can use your artistic skills to make it interesting and amazing. But for now that's all in this video and in the next video we will create a back button and the exit menu UI. So till then keep learning, keep practicing and I'll meet you in the further upcoming videos. For now, see you later.